Guys, welcome back. Still getting used to this rifle. I've served on a lot of ships, but nothing like this. The contours are all off. It's not built for organics. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Telly. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Yeah. Against an enemy dreadnought, your combat drone would just float there, making that noise. I missed you too, Garrus. Down we go. Fuck. So glad you mysteriously didn't die in the suicide mission. You completely survived, Tally. Nothing bad happened. So why are they attacking before this thing is done? I don't even know. Who knows anything? What the fuck? Alright, the other thing is, uh, I just remembered, I forgot to even put that shield upgrade on. Where is it? It's this one. Uh, oh, it's already on, technically. Where should I put it? I mean, instead of grenade. Something like that. Need to be in front of that bastard. So how does this work? We should be okay if we stay in cover. More incoming. I think they figured out what we're doing. Oops, I missed. Oh. Uh. So, the fuck? What the fuck? He's just rushing me. So how, how does this thing even work? I don't understand. I put it on, and then it's on. So now it's off. Am I dead? Maybe. Is it ability I use or what? No, it's off now. It's toggled. Oh, I call this guy. I'm just trying to figure out how this works. This guy has to kill. This must be so rude. Okay. I don't really understand it, honestly, right now. Oh, shit. Honestly, I, I really don't. So, what? I just assume that this is a toggle build ability. Because, like, you see how my... Uh, like, my ammo thing in the top left shows up? Also, who the fuck's over here? I'm just trying to figure out how this works. So, you know what we're going to do? I don't know. I think I'm gonna do the damage protection. I think that's the route we're gonna go. Tech power damage or shield recharge delay. That's a tough one, isn't it? Guess we'll do the power da the recharge delay. Reduces power speed penalty by thirty percent. Now I know that's because when it's on, it has a speed penalty. But I think I'll, I think we'll just raise our damage protection so we have maximum damage protection. Oops. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? Where 
Where did the Geth keep coming from? Oh, this ladder, I guess. Eh. Hey. I'm sure I'll get up eventually as soon as all these guys are done. Where's the last one? There's one more somewhere because otherwise these two fuckers would get out. Yeah, Garrus is just like dead in front of the giant gun. Uh, sorry, I've been trying to figure out this shit most for the most part. I think I have it on. Yeah, I do have it on me right now. How 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 much does it add a penalty to my powers? Pretty big penalty, actually. Pretty substantial. fire. Cut that a little close. Watch your shield. Stick to cover. The fuck? Uh, I, th I think I got hit just as it was, it was there. Watch your shields just down in the open. Uh, can I cloak? Uh, well, nope. I can't now. Uh, I can't see anything though. Err. So I wonder, like, I guess this helps my shields recharge a little bit then. I guess that this, that's what this power does, just a nice buff. That's what I thought it would be. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever seen a trip mine in this game. I don't seem to really give a shit about the, the giant weapon that they're inside of. <laughs> oh, Garrus got it. <laughs> I rolled to tally, fuck. Uh... I mean, it's kind of a neat concept. You're you're literally in a big gun, but I mean, wouldn't that kill you? I don't even know. Something tells me it's probably hazardous. Makes a pretty baller noise, honestly. Oh, I see Garrus's gun. Rip Garrus. Alright, let's see. We're looking back. Oh, there he is. It's a hiding behind the pillar the whole time. Fuck. Let me out, guys.
Cutscene might not have never missed. I'm all right. Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. Oh, experience, nice. And how close we are to... What level are we right now? 57. We're getting there, guys. We are almost there. by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but... it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? No. Removal of the heretics made the decision to ally with the old machines more difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. <clears throat> Got it. Tell Isora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. So you sell, are you going to solve my problems for me? I guess I can't shoot this guy. Do have to take two shots to kill. I, I, I probably should actually be sniping to kill them. Uh, oh my god, we're actually running a battle for this thing. 
The volume would have never run out of ammo. First time we actually have to switch to this thing. I mean, the Quarns are fucking dicks. Oh, you know, I didn't use the stability one on this one either. Really good gun. That is a Geth Prime. <laughs> Angry Howls. What? I got a bruiser achievement, but I didn't bruise anything. I don't even know what it is I killed. It was just red. Seeing him fumble with the <laughs> giant sniper.
fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? I can't help them win this war if they're gonna go off half-cocked like this. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. I understand that you ignored the plan and charged in without thinking. The Dreadnought was a per- <clears throat> Admiral? You jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion said it could help us. For now, let's hear what it has to say. Understood, Commander. So, you say you can help? Yes. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila, I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Alright, let's see what else we got. Oh, Volus. Citadel Defense Force. And some mega stuff. Uh, I guess the engineering corps got a little bit stronger. Sorry, uh, fleet. Some engineers. Ah, right, crucible. Javelin missile launchers. Exogeny scientists. Yeah, we're well above what we're supposed to have for the military strength, by the way. All right, not so bad. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have hull breaches. Life support, please. Your suit, though. All right, uh, give me a sec. All right, carry on. Sorry about that. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. I'd hoped the Geth would be useful. Indeed. I'm still double-checking any data it provides on the Reaper base, though. What do you need? I'd like to know about your patrol. Oh, wait, we did all this. Now, we mostly go. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure.
All right. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken half the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. You lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sio. I've updated the galaxy map. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Commander? And finally we get to talk to Joker. After 3,000 years. And those Corian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is that tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? Admiral Garrel made a difficult decision in the heat of battle. The destruction of the Dreadnought is a major victory. The fact that you got through that without punching something, that's why you're command material. <laughs> and you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Commander. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Hello, Shepard. Ah, uh, she loves making these jokes. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Oh, the email. Uh, fine. We'll go down there. <laughs> the, the, the tip told me to use combat rolls. Hey, look who's back. So, have you seen Edie's new body? Oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers. Ultra light harmonic phased power cells. Mm-hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much... Party. Ugh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Kenneth. You should go see Adams, Commander. Adams would like to speak to you. Commander, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely uh, under command. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. I, I remember that one. All right. 
Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Power grid is in the green. Power grid is in the green. Commander. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. At this point, I don't have a lot of options. You do. Throw it out of the airlock. Don't you think that's a little drastic? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. Even if what you say is true, Legion wants to destroy the Reapers as much as we do. Did you ever consider the Geth may be trying to eliminate the competition? With the Reapers gone, the galaxy will be theirs for the taking. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. So, Edie? The machine you call Edie. What if she sympathizes with the Geth? We should watch her carefully. Why have you not thrown the Legion machine out the airlock, Commander? There is still time. I still have much to learn about this cycle. I still have much to learn about this cycle. Whatever, dude. Ah, uh, no thing. No thing ever. Heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right. Right? Fine. I'll shut up. Back. Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. Hey there. Hey there. Okay. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure. Feeling okay, Commander? Nope.
Nobody say anything. <laughs> uh. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. No? Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You can't let them know that. If people lose confidence in their leaders, this war is over. I told you once that I wasn't a very good Turian, Shepard. I never could follow bad orders. Now I'm the one giving the orders. And it shouldn't matter what anyone thinks about them. Except someone's dying at the end of every sentence. And someone's making it out alive, too. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. How's it going? 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 <laughs> Alright, not much left now. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. <laughs> Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have work to do. Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. Ah, here we go. Uh, power, I guess, the health net, health bonus. It's like five percent, so minor. And we're gonna do recharge. Ah, right, good enough for me. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. No, it doesn't. Liar. Alright, we're just gonna go up here, see if, uh... Nope, I don't think there's anything else here. My collection is going pretty good. And I guess the last one. Commander. Alright, we're gonna leave it up here, guys. Good Derek.